Shravan Mas. Shravan Mas is one of the four months in Chatur Mas, which is very, very holy. You know how if we're doing a certain thing or if there is something, a task at hand, there's always that most important factor that we have to focus on or we have to accomplish that makes everything else go or run. In the same way, there are four months of Chaturmas, but suppose you are incapable or suppose that you are unable to take niyams for the four months, Shravanmas is a one in all month, we can say. Shravanmas is a month which is the most holiest of the Hindu calendar year, and it's kind of like a bonus. If you have ever played Jeopardy or those games where they give the double points or the triple points, in the same way, Shravan, while taking Niyams and Shravanmas, which is going to come up in, uh, in just two days, July 21st, and is going to last until August 22nd, 2020, by taking such Niyams, you're getting double and triple the points in Bhagwan's record books. That's why, kids, if you haven't taken niyams for Chaturmas, Shravanmas is definitely the way to go to and to take niyams to please Bhagwan. If you do one mara, it'll be counted as a hundred times more in the eyes of Bhagwan. But that doesn't mean just to take one mara. Whoever is greedy has a desire to make money however so, even if he's a millionaire, even if he's a billionaire, it doesn't matter, but he keeps having a thought process that how can I make more money? How can I make more money? In the same way, to do more devotion in this month will never, you can say, disbenefit you, but will always benefit you and Bhagwan will become even more pleased upon you. So let's take a look at this presentation regarding Shavan Mas and the importance of it. So let's take a walk through. Number one, what is it? Number two, why is it called Shravan? Number three, the Shikshapatri. Number four, festivals. And number five, save the date. Only two days remaining, that's why. But it is very, very important because Bhagwan becomes pleased the most in this particular month. So let's walk through. What is it? Now, Shravan is the holiest month of the year in the Hindu calendar. All of, the devote, all of the devote followers of Sanatan Dharma around the world observe austerities in this month with great reverence and devotion. Now, I already explained to you it's the holiest month, but this particular month, <clears throat> not only Bhagwan Swami Narayan devotees, but all, you can say, followers of the Sanatan Dharma, meaning the eternal Dharma, according to the Vedas, according to many, many religions in Hinduism, many, many, you can say, divisions, everyone observes niyams, penance, to please Bhagwan, whichever Bhagwan they worship in this particular month. That's why it's important. Number two, why is it called Shravan? It is believed that on Purnima, or full moon day, or at any time, during this month, Shravan Naksatra, meaning you can say, or you can see over here on the left side, um, that particular drawing has to do with uh, the stars in the sky and constellations, or star rules, the skies, and hence this month derives its name from this Nakshatra. Nakshatra, meaning from this whole you can say star constellation. So this month is derived from the star constellation. That's why it's named that. Number three, the Shikshapatri. According to Bhagwan Swaminarayan Zagna, in the Shikshapatri Shlok 76, Lord Swaminarayan states, all my disciples shall perform ad additional religious duties during the four months of Mansun, which is Chaturmas. Those who are incapable shall perform them during the month of Shravan meaning this particular month. Because Bhagwan says, if you can't do four, don't worry about it. 
I'll give everything to you in just this one month. The four holy months of Chaturmas are special auspicious times to pleasing God by offering extra devotion, according to the slok 77 and 78 in the Shikshapatri. It is known that any religious activity performed during these months is more fruitful than any other time. People absorb, observe various austerities, niyams or vrats, as per Shikshapatri slok 77 and 78, meaning out of all the other months, the most fruitful is Chaturmas, and out of them, out of the four months of Chaturmas, Shravanmas is even more fruitful, according to Bhagwan Swami Narayan. Festivals. Out of these four, fest four months, it is stated that the month of Shravan is most, most auspicious, auspicious. Various divine festivals like Hindora, Rakshabandhan, and Janmashmi are celebrated in this month. As you can see here currently at Loyada Mandir, New Jersey, Hindora Utsav is currently going. There's different themes uh, that the Hindoro can be, you can say, decorated in. It doesn't have to be a particular theme. But just to please Bhagwan and just so our devotion for Bhagwan increases, a Hindoro is a swing. We put Bhagwan or we place Bhagwan on a swing and sway him back and forth. And by having his darshan, we develop a peace of heart in our, and we develop shanti. Nonetheless, currently right now, Organized by Loyadam Mandir, we are currently holding a Hindoro competition, which by this date tonight, it will close. But for from July 20th to July 24th, a voting ballot will be out and voting will take place. Approximately 50, 50 Haribaktos, you can say families around Loyadam Parivar have taken part and next Sunday, the winners will be declared on this particular, you can say, competition of whoever wins. So Hindoro is one kind of festival which is held especially in these four months, in especially the, this month of Shravan Mas. Next is Raksha Bandhan. Raksha meaning, you can say, to be saved or, you know, Bhagwan Swami Narayan, our Puja Guruji, Santos and Bhaktos are always in our Raksha, are, are always there in our, you can say, to help us, to save us. And this particular, you can say, festival is also there. And finally, Janmashmi. Sri Krishna Bhagwan was born on this particular date. So, all these three important festivals in Hinduism are particularly based in this month. That's why this month is very important. Finally, save the date. Just in two days, July 21st, 2020 to Ju August 22nd, 2020, Shravan Mas will begin and end. One month period to please Bhagwan Swaminarayan, attain his Rajipo, attain the Rajipo of his Ekantik Sadpurush. We, as Loyadam, Bal, Balika, Kishor, Kishori, Yua, Yuti, should take Niyams and achieve this goal at hand. Saying this, my humble Jai Swaminara.